Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Elbit Systems announced today, on February 26th, a follow-up to its earlier declaration on August 16th, 2023, confirming its successful bid for a contract valued at approximately $600 million. This contract involves supplying systems to Hanwha Defence Australia as part of the Australian Land 400 Phase 3 project. The primary objective of this project is to enhance the capabilities of the Redback Infantry Fighting Vehicles, IFVs, for the Australian Army by providing advanced protection, combat capabilities, and a comprehensive sensor suite. The contract is scheduled to be executed over a period of five years. Bezel L. Buzzi, Mockless, President and CEO of Elbit Systems, remarked, this milestone underscores our dedication to delivering advanced, mission-critical solutions to the Australian Army. Elbit Systems is committed to providing state-of-the-art defence technologies that will ensure the safety of troops on the modern battlefield. In response to Australia's evolving strategic landscape, the Army aims to strengthen its capabilities with the acquisition of 129 new infantry fighting vehicles. Pending final negotiations and approval, the Australian government has indicated that Hanwha's Redback vehicles will be manufactured at facilities in the Geelong region. This decision aligns with Australia's strategic goal of fostering sovereign defence manufacturing capabilities. Projected to cost between $5 billion and $7 billion, the Land 400 Phase 3 project represents one of the Army's most significant capability acquisitions to date. These new Redback vehicles will replace the aging M113 armoured personnel carriers, initially procured in 1964 with the first Redback expected to be delivered by early 2027. Featuring advanced armor, cannon systems, and missiles, the Redback IFVs are designed to provide enhanced protection, mobility, and firepower required for close combat operations, ensuring the safety and effectiveness of soldiers in fulfilling their missions. The procurement of these modern vehicles is part of the government's broader initiative to modernize the army, enabling it to effectively address emerging land challenges within the region. Moreover, the timing of the Redback delivery aligns with the introduction of new HIMARS missile systems and landing craft, as outlined in the Defense Strategic Review, highlighting the necessity for army transformation to support littoral maneuver operations from Australia. Minister for Defense Industry Pat Conroy reiterated the government's commitment to investing in national security and the well-being of Australian soldiers. He emphasized the importance of supporting the domestic defense industry to reduce reliance on foreign suppliers, stating that manufacturing the Redback vehicles in Australia would create up to 600 direct jobs and contribute to over a thousand additional jobs within the local industry supply chain. That's all for now. See you later.